All right, let's get to the UConn Huskies. Yeah. You then yeah. road trip with Rob up to Connecticut and uh, saw them play with Donovan Klingon. What uh, what did you think? I saw where the score was out of hand early. Hey, they won by 43 against Ooh. Sean Miller and Xavier. Like, wow. 43. In, How in, much in, of that was Xavier being bad or UConn being good? Both. It was both. I mean, UConn looked phenomenal, but Xavier is not very good. You know, what Sean said after the game, and I was a little surprised about, because, because again, Jordan Hawkins was at the game. They honored the 2004 national title team also, but Hawkins is playing the Celtics tonight for the Pelicans. So he was there, and you think about last year's team, right? They, they had Sonogo, they had Andre Jackson, and Hawkins. Well, that's two NBA players and maybe the best player right now in the G League. And they lost all three, and Sean Miller said, I think they're better offensively. Wow, that's crazy. Right? I mean, that's crazy. That's a hell of a statement, yeah. I mean, again, you bring in Cam Spencer, who's – really been good and he's just an adult in every way right like he can shoot it elite shooter which i reminded you of you didn't know that um i didn't think he shot it i thought i thought he was a little more up and down last year but his percentage does say that he's an elite shooter he's an elite shooter and and he can move the ball around like he knows he how to play he yeah. really knows how to play and with clinging on the court you watch it and it's something they just haven't had most of the year because clinging has been hurt and it's kind of that that security blanket of like, okay, I can just throw it up to them, and, and they can lob it to them. And again, I, we can get into the the UConn versus P Purdue matchup, whatever. We'll probably get do it all year because yeah. again, they're clearly one A and one B right now. But Caravan, Camp Spencer, and Castle, and Newton, they can all pass it, Rob. Like yeah. they can. No, all they're really good. The they're really really good. There's no there's no doubting that. And they look like men. That's, I guess, if there's one difference of UConn and Purdue, it's like when you line them up, UConn look yeah, like other please than Please don't Jackie. say this. That is so dumb. I'm just that's, telling that's you. Not, so you're saying, okay, are you saying in the backcourt? Because Purdue has one of the biggest front courts in the country. I'm saying you've got a 7 4 center and you've got Lawyer three and Braden that are all Smith. 6 9, 6 10. Lawyer, Braden Smith, and even okay, Lance. So you're Jones. saying their backcourt because what, Tristan right. Newton is 6 6. No, no, no. Chris Newton's not that big. He's probably 6'4". Six, six, four. Yeah, yeah. He's not huge. How tall but, is Cam Spencer? Uh, probably 6'3", probably my height, 6'3". But he's built. He's built. That's the difference yeah, with lawyer. This, and, is a, this is a false narrative that you are It's really spreading. not. I don't it think is. it is. I don't. Castle's a man. Now, if you put Castle next to Lance Jones and you said which one is a senior and which one's a freshman, you would say Castle's a senior. He How, looks what's what is Castle's size? Six five and built and athletic and so their their guards are are bigger than Purdue's guards. But to just yeah. make it sound like you you have like the boys and girls club all stars against this college basketball team is really really dumb. I'm not but okay. Their their backcourt is bigger. I got you. Lawyer's the one I worry about. Lawyer's the one I worry about. Well, he's got the most size from a height perspective, but he's the one that physically is probably the the one that right. you know is the least physical. And he's up and down. He's he like, you're more reliant on him and he's more like castle. It doesn't matter. Like but he's, Castle's but he's also done it and been combustible against some of the best teams in the country. Totally. I mean, he's given Arizona 27. He's put 27 on Tennessee, yeah. who is one of the best defensive and most physical teams you will play. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Tennessee. Totally. So I, I agree with you. He's too up and down, but he, his highs have been against really good people and he's been pretty good in some of those games. What I'll say is, again, this was the first time I, I looked on the court and I was like, okay, Klingon looks like the Klingon. He looks healthy. Yeah, yeah, and like like it changes them. It totally changes them because, again, uh, uh, from an offensive standpoint, it's not like you're going to throw the ball down to him a ton. But no, but the, the lob threat, I mean, that changes the way you have to guard stuff in pick yes. and roll, and it, it does. Especially with smart ball players who can get to the basket. And yeah. know how to throw a low post entry pass. So, like, even though Clinton's not doesn't have the best low post moves, you can get him the ball where all he's got to do is, is turn and shoot. Well, like, no, and really like easy. if you have good guards that can get into the paint and you can dump it off to him, he's gonna finish. He's yes. huge and he's athletic. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah, I just listen, I just can't believe I'm saying that like this UConn team with losing all they lost last year is still the co favorite. No, I mean they, and, and they run said, great. Like, they run great stuff, and they've got good players. And yes. that, and that they're is, really well coached. Really, yeah. really well coached. And again, you recruited a team that fits together. I, I think the same can be said about Purdue. 
I think they fit together, right? They've got enough shooters. They've got, obviously, the big boy down low. You know, the question for me is, can Klingon, well, from a size standpoint, he should be able to guard Zach Eady. Yeah, but I, I think Nobody foul can. trouble is yeah. what Zach Eady has put on every team he's played. And he'll do the Tennessee same thing. Or Marquette or Alabama or Arizona. I mean, yeah. all those dudes get four fouls or foul out. Yeah, and Klingon's still not in tip-top form. Like, he's lost some weight. He looks good. I don't know what he played if he played 20 minutes or so. I would still keep it, him to, like, a minutes restriction this year. I, I would. I would keep it to, like, no more than 25. For the rest of the season. To totally. 100%. The foot injury, you just don't know. You don't want to uh, put – Especially with big guys that have a bunch of – you know, I mean, you're talking about how many more games anyway, Rob? How many more games do we have left in the regular season? I mean, like 10. Right. So, yeah, for 10 yeah. games, keep him to 25, make sure he's healthy, and then mm -hmm. back the back to, like, Big East tournament, I would honestly – because it's not going to matter at that point. Well, it doesn't. Yeah, it's 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 irrelevant. Right. Other than you, you get a ring if you win, or you hang a banner if you. And maybe they who, don't even do that there. They who's going to care it. at the end no, of the I know, day? I know. You want you want the other ring. You want to be able to say, yeah, for the sure. First team for to sure. go back to back since, uh, which hey, the funny part of this, I think Doster asked them earlier in the year before the season started. Um, he asked Danny Hurley, you know, something about going back to back. And he forgot. He was like, yeah, Florida's the only team that's done it in the last, whatever, 30 years. He forgot his brother did it back in 91, 92. Oh, Duke did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was pretty good. Oh. But Dan, Dan Hurley is a national treasure, too. I, I will say that. Like, I don't know Man, if you his, watch. His, he coaches with his emotions so on his sleeves, just like his brother does, which I enjoy watching. Um, I, I do, I'm too. Sure it's, not, it's probably not enjoyable to officiate it. Correct. But... He's, but it he is was better yesterday, but they won by 43. Yeah, I mean, what would he have to complain about? He still complained. He still complained. Yeah, he'll find something. Huh? But, no, they're good. They're good. Produce good. I'm I'm ready. Like, And I think most people now are ready to say, like, they are clearly 1A, 1B, and yeah. then there's a drop to whoever you want to put at three at this point. I, I don't know who it is. I don't think there's a clear-cut answer to that. Right. But there's a there's – a, there's a clear cut answer to the fact that there's a disparity after one and two. Yeah, no, I agree.